Steve, the day has finally come. A year and a half ago, we started planning a huge holiday with some of our best, best friends. They live in Canada. We haven't seen them for the longest time and uh, we are about to go traveling with them for the next month starting in Orlando, going to Disney. So I don't think we've shared the story of how we met the Grin series. About three or four years ago, we were traveling to Utah and we booked a room in a little old lady's house and a friend said, hey, I know someone that watches your videos that live in Utah and they would love for you to stay there. Yeah, so we are flying to Utah today, which should be exciting. And also we had to change of plans. Like late last night, we were going to stay with an Airbnb and then Sarah's really nice friend who actually watches the vlogs, contacted Sarah and said, they can come stay with us. So we're like super happy. So we ended up canceling this one bedroom room, staying with them for two weeks. And then you know when you just instantly become friends with someone, well, that's the Grin series for you. And then after that trip to Utah, we ended up heading back there later in the year. They ended up flying all the way to Greece for our wedding. We have known you for the least amount of time at this table, <laughs> <laughs> but you've made the biggest impact that will last a lifetime from a Snapchat video message which I'm sure our kids will look back and be like, why are you guys on Snapchat? But uh, from that little Snapchat, inviting us into your home and just instantly connecting like best friends. And we flew all the way to Canada and had our first white Christmas with them. Staying just, staying just, um, um, Santa came. Sa what? What did Bailey get? What did you get him? Oh! <laughs> ah, that's actually that's really, actually good. really good! Because Stevie's always in planes! And now we are on the biggest trip that we have ever done with them. We're going to be traveling the south of America, going to a bunch of theme parks, going on road trips for an entire month. But we have just landed in Orlando. So excited! <laughs> Morning guys, we have just woken up in Orlando. Yesterday we met up with the Grin Series, tried to fit all our luggage into our rental van and I cannot believe we actually got it all in there because there are eight of us. And we checked into our Airbnb. We are staying in like a four bedroom place. There's Mickey Mouse on the wall and it's right near Disney. Morning. Morning. Do you wanna come say hi? You heard us out here. Say, morning. <laughs> this is Bailey and there's another one of these twins. <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying where we're going today. Do you know where we're going? NASA. 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 So we're going to go and see the space station and there's like rockets and spaceships there and stuff like that. Yeah, I think literally this morning they did a launch. Did they? Yeah, they did a launch at what? like 7 in the morning. <laughs> we wanted to show you where we're staying. So we're actually staying like right on a swamp. So there's like alligators and snakes all out there. So we're just gonna do the two hour drive up to Cape Canaveral and see the space center. So throughout the week here in Orlando, we're gonna be doing all of the attractions, all the theme parks. And if you guys were watching when we were in Japan last time, we'd found an app which made it so easy to download. Everything is called Kluke and we're pretty much gonna be using it throughout the week. It's just one stop destination where you can easily buy tickets online. It stores it right in your app and then you can get your tickets on the app and you literally just skip all the queues, just beep in and you're in. So it's super easy to use. We've been loving it. So definitely check it out below if you want to know where we bought our tickets to come to NASA. Nine years since we've been here and I literally don't even remember any of this. I feel like so much has changed. Please insert some embarrassing photos. <laughs> no, this whole week is going to be embarrassing photos. So definitely one of the highlights of NASA and why we've decided to do it first. It's so you can jump on a bus tour and they take you out to the launch pad. So we did a driving tour around the gigantic vehicle assembly building and just the American flag on that building is 22 stories high just to let you know how tall it is but now we've come to the Apollo Center so this is where they pretty much managed and launched all of the Apollo rockets and they turned it into a museum and they kind of take you through different sections and explain pretty much the space race so they explain sending people up around the moon of course sending people to the moon and I'm literally underneath a gigantic rocket at the moment. How big is this rocket? Literally look at the engines just here. 
What are you Time doing? Time for um, some cheesy family photos. <laughs> <laughs> Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ten. Ground control Nine. to Major Tom. Eight. This is ground control to Major Tom. Oh, 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 oh. Lift off. Three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> So we're currently inside the Apollo Launch Control Center. This is the actual control center. Just down there are the computers that they use to launch so many of the Apollo rockets into space and of course to the moon and around the moon. You found a moon rock? This is the capsule for Apollo 14, so this has been on the moon. So just outside, you can see one just here and just over here. These are the two current launch pads. One of them is the SpaceX launch pad. So that's Elon Musk's space program that he's doing. And this is where they sent the Tesla into space, which is cool. shuttle that has been in space multiple times. And it's like crazy to think that this can just go into space and then they can land it back on Earth. This is the Atlantis space shuttle. So this little space capsule just in here, the very first man that went into space was in this. This is how small it was. And they've kind of done a replica of what all the different gadgets and buttons that he'd be using, but like you would feel claustrophobic and then on top of that being shot off up into space. Wow. This is the original countdown clock for the launch of when they put man on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> They've either improved this a lot in the nine years or when we came with our family we didn't do it right because we've had so much fun at NASA definitely it's a great kind of like filler day between theme parks because you do and you will get exhausted going to theme parks back to back I'd recommend you guys come out here yeah, it's been super fun checking it out Alrighty everybody, I hope you enjoyed that episode here in Orlando. Don't worry, there are plenty more coming your way. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up because next up, it's a week of theme parks. Need to brace myself because I'm sure we're gonna be exhausted. Exhausted but happy by the end of the week. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Good morning everybody. Welcome back to Florida. Today starts our epic theme park time. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Wow. <laughs>